Hey guys, Classcomer here. So, during all that grinding, I went ahead and got to level 8, and I learned new spell, Sleep. It's pretty good. I think it only takes like 2 MP, but we'll find out when I get into the next fight. I also, if you saw there on the screen, I got new equipment. I went ahead, I had the Copper Sword. Actually, that's right, I didn't equip stuff so I can show you the difference. I got Chainmail, which will increase my defense a good amount, and I went ahead and bought a leather shield too, just because I had the money. In fact, I should go and sell off my plain clothes, mostly to open up space in my inventory, but I wanted to mostly show you guys the uh, difference in defense. So, I'm going to go ahead and do this. I also bought six herbs, and what's nice in this game, I don't think the NES one did, is that you can stack herbs and Stack herbs and keys. I think the keys might have stacked in the original, but the herbs probably didn't. Oh, fuck you, slime. Getting a jump attack on me. So, yeah. Six is the maximum you can hold, but it only takes one inventory slot. That cave down there is the goal today. So let's head there. Yeah, these fights are short, but I may start cutting them out a little bit. Oh, man. Wow, so many fights. But that's kind of how the game is. You get a lot of small fights. And if I didn't mention it before, uh, yeah, you only get one character the entire game, and you only fight one enemy at a time the entire game. Which is okay. I'm pretty alright with that. Even though it means that I get, like, five steps in a fight. I'm killing everything in one hit, usually before they can even swing at me, so it's like free money and experience. And I don't remember if I mentioned it. I earned up so much money that I actually put a thousand gold into the vault. So I've got that saved up for myself later. And now I'm doing so much damage that I can kill those magic drakies or magic drakies, whatever, in one hit. So I don't even need to use the fireball spell, which is really cool. So this cave that should just be on the other side of the swamp, if I could make it out of the forest here. Yeah, this is the rocky tunnel or rock cave or rocky mountain cave, whatever your uh, translation calls it. I'm not even sure. If there's a direct uh, person you can talk to to figure out the name of it, but it's here. And it's really just a side quest area. You don't ever need to come in here. There's not that much to get, but it's worth doing. And the enemies in here are going to be fairly powerful. Mostly things you would see around coal. Uh, some stronger enemies as well. And it can get pretty confusing if you are new to the game, or have a bad memory. Let's see... Meta... What can they do? Pull up my bestiary here. And I'll tell you in a moment. Yeah, working this thing off two screens. Um... Shart. Ah, this is the right way. Had to stop looking at that pull up the bestiary. Okay, Maidas! What can they do? They can totally not have the be stereo up anymore. Well, I think these guys pretty much just have uh, attacks. Like, they just physically attack and have more HP than anything I've come across so far. But there'll be stronger versions of them. I want to get that treasure chest. Hey, mage, whatever. Mages aren't a problem. Let's see. In, in this chest, I think it's just money. But hey, I need more money. I want to get up to 3,000 gold so I can get the steel armor. Or whatever it would be called in your game. Maybe full plate. The uh, original NES translation, I think they call it that.
And now I need to figure out how to get through to the rest of this place. I don't think I want to take those stairs, but maybe I do. No, no, I'm going the wrong way, actually. Well, those stairs are there, and I think they just take you to a small room that doesn't lead anywhere, so don't do that. Hmm. The fights are so short, I'm actually having a hard time getting things working on my secondary screen. Oh crap, Giant Scorpion. These guys have a lot of defense, but not too much HP, so yeah, two attacks, I should be able to kill them. They could be a problem at some point. Not right now. Yeah, those metas are... They might be called druins in the game you're playing. They only have regular attacks. So, that's pretty cool. Good things to know. So far, I haven't had to use the sleep spell. But, eventually, it'll be important to have. Which is the reason I got up to at least level 7. Because that's when you, I learned it. Pretty sure that's when everyone will learn that spell. There's no variants on how quickly you can learn spells in this game, unlike other Dragon Quest games. So we come up here, and this is the staircase I want to take. There's another one I could have taken that would have gotten to this area, but it requires a key, and I haven't gone to uh, Remedular to get said keys. Which I think someone mentioned. Oh crap, a droll. Drolls are really just the same things. <laughs> More vanilla enemies that are just stronger versions of one another, but they're a bit more powerful. Wow, I have over a thousand gold again. Cool. Means I'm two-thirds of the way to get in my steel armor. And, oh, awesome, a torch. Keeps me from having to buy any more. And here is a Drachy. Ah, well, okay, cool. Same name in both games. These guys can actually cast Heal and Fireball, so that's kind of a problem. Thankfully, they don't. The Fireball and spell from the enemies in this game doesn't do that much damage, or else it could have been a real problem. No treasure chest up there. Another droll, whatever. Just smash this guy's face in. I need to use the. I'll probably use a medical herb rather than my heal spells because uh, I want to save my MP for using sleep. Is there some enemies in here that are actually a problem? I've just been really lucky and not run into them yet. Unless they've been taken out of this version of the game, but I don't think they have been. Ah, here's one, the wizard. Wizards can be a problem. Thankfully, sleep spell really solves this problem. Otherwise, the wizards will pretty much... well, they might kill you. They have a much better chance of it than anyone else. Oh, Jesus. Getting a jump attack on me. Let's see what happens if I don't use my sleep spell. Uh, I get lucky he doesn't use any of his spells. Speaking of, the wizards, which may also be called warlocks, can put you to sleep. And that's why you want to try and do it to them as quickly as possible. And here I get the Iron Shield, which I don't think this is in the, the uh, NES version of the game. Going to the wrong screen to equip things. There you go. Another six points of defense. Doing pretty good on that now. Eventually I'll want to go sell that leather shield. And a skeleton. They're still the vanilla whatever enemies. No special abilities, they just get stronger and stronger and stronger. Which can be a problem. Can be deadly, you know, how, how much stronger they get. And here's the Warrior's Ring, which, by the name, you would think it would increase my attack. So my attack is 42. Go to Ion so you can equip it there. And now my attack is 42. So, no change at all. The only reason you get it is to have a slightly different... Uh, dialogue message with the NPC later on. And honestly, that's it. You can sell it, but it doesn't sell for that much. And Dragon, I think this is all the new enemies. So, yeah. Wizards are the big thing to worry about because of their sleep spell. And 
Money is important, but I'm not going to need medical herbs for very much longer in the game, so I, I'll just use what I've got. No reason to use up my MP on healing. Come around here, these are our last two treasure chests in the dungeon. A strength seed, and a magic nut. Wow, these probably didn't exist and may have been money in the original game. I'm not sure. In any case, I'm going to go ahead and use these items and, well, make myself more powerful artificially. Woot woot steroids! Yeah, you might see some weird flashes that happen between uh, battle transitions. I'm not really sure what's up with that. I think it's just a graphical glitch with my uh, version of the game. Whatever, Droll. You're just going to get your ass kicked by me when I'm... I don't even think I'm actually overleveled for this. I mean, you could have come in here at level 7 and probably done okay, but I wanted to get slightly higher MP. Oh, damn it, wizards. And... I may... I don't know. I'm actually getting incredibly lucky here. I don't think I'll have anything to worry about making it out of here alive. Maybe if I didn't have a map. But, well, that's why I came prepared. So, you know what? If nothing very interesting happens, I'm just going to cut here, and I will see you guys back over by Tantigo. Okay, I'm back here. I went ahead and pulled out the thousand gold I had saved up and sold the leather shield. So now I have over three thousand, which is enough to get the steel armor. And... Currently, the goal is to head out to, uh, well, it would be to head into that cave to the south of, uh, Cole, or Myra, but now I, that I have the money to get the armor, I want to go ahead and do that, since, you know, the enemies on the other side of the coast are going to be pretty tough, and in the cave, and everywhere except for where I'm going to be. Everywhere except where I've already been. So, yeah. Oh, I also hit level 9 and learned new spell Radiant. I'll show you that l later. It's only useful in caves. And yeah, I, I took the shortcut through the swamp because I don't care about the 3 damage. I mean, it's going to stay with me. There's no way I can get rid of it without staying in. And, and I'm not going to be doing that anytime soon. But, whatever. I'm really not worried about the damage I've taken. Ooh, terrific move. Critical hit. Don't get a lot of those. Too bad those on the enemy I could one-shot anyway. So, let's go in here to the weapon shop. And see how much of an upgrade I'm going to get by getting this armor. Oh, no, don't sell anything. I don't have anything I want to sell. Steel armor buy. Wow. 35 to 49 defense. And of course we equip immediately after getting it because that's the smart thing to do. And so, oh, yeah. No, I showed you guys that. I had the chainmail before I went to that cave. So, there we go. Now I'm practically broke again, but that's alright. I won't die. So let's head down here. Back down south to this, uh, poison swamp I avoided earlier. Oh, actually, before I do that, there's a thing over here that I didn't go and look at because, well, <laughs> at the time I wasn't strong enough to survive the journey through here. Sure, red slams aren't a problem, but the other things we see this way would have been, you know, the first time I came by coal. Ghosts were kind of a problem at the time. And I found that the uh, the enemy spawning areas aren't the exact same in this game as they were in uh, the original. They took better care to make sure that uh, the grid didn't overlap in some areas. So I don't think you could have found skeletons here necessarily, though you would have in the original. So yeah, this guy is holding on to something that we'll need for the King Dragon. Or Dragon Lord. I like calling Dragon Lord more. So, 
<laughs> to retrieve the sign from him, we have to pass the test. Um, you want to tell me what the test is? Yeah, we need to go get that silver heart. Which, if you remember, uh, Garen had and took with him to his grave, and he died where he settled his town of Garen Ham, or Garai, or Garen. So, now we know we need to go into his tomb and retrieve the silver heart and bring it back to this guy to get the Staff of Rain. Which is one of the three items that our ancestor was alluding to that we'll need to make it to the, uh, to the castle. I think it's called Charlotte Castle, but there's nowhere that actually references it as far as I know. So I'm just going to call it the Dragon Lord's Castle. We'll need to get those items to get to his castle so we can fight him and kill him and retrieve the ball of light and win the day. We will go us because we're an awesome hero man. Oh, stupid fucking giant scorpions. Ha! They can even one-shot those guys now with the copper sword. I haven't even bought a better weapon yet. I always liked how the backgrounds in this game reflect the area that you're in. Not sure they did that in the NES. I know there was a background. I'm just not sure if it, you know, made sense for the place. Now, this dungeon is incredibly easy to get through, even if you can't see. Because he would just hold down, and by the way, the Radiant spell lights the area better than the torch does. Problem is, it will eventually go out, whereas the torch wouldn't. Then you have to recast the spell. Anyway, you would just hold down the entire time until you start hitting a wall, and you'll hear yourself bumping into the wall when you do. So, just all the way down until you go bump, 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 bump. Move to the right, until you do it again, then down again, then right again. And yeah, there are enemies in here, you'll occasionally get into fights with them. Thankfully, these ones aren't so bad. Do until you bump again, down until you bump again, left until you bump again, up by one, one whole space. You take half space steps in this game. You don't do that in the NES GBC games. Anyway, yeah, you just go up one, and then left the rest of the way, and you're at the end. And these enemies are going to be as strong as the ones that we found in the rocky cave, or rock tunnel, or rocky mountain cave, whatever you want to call it. So, be sure to uh, be under guard. Actually, I should maybe heal, because my max HP is like 50, and I have 30-something. All we need to do is make it to the uh, that pond over there. Unfortunately, wizards and stronger enemies are going to be trying to stop me. Thankfully, he only casts Fireball, which would have done, like, twice the amount of damage in the original game. So, that would have sucked. Iron Scorpions, um, they have a lot of defense, so I'm going to go ahead and cast Fireball on them. They don't have a ton of HP, but their defense is pretty high, especially when they protect themselves. So, unguarded, I do 9. Probably somewhere between 7 and 10. Guarded, I do, like, between 3 and 5. And with the Fireball, I can do not quite 20. So, this is the town of Remidular. I'm probably butchering that. Don't care. It sounds awesome. Oh, hey, it's the guy that left his wife because he wanted to come to find... Uh, I think he came to buy keys, and then he couldn't. Oh, nothing of that dresser. There's, you know, the end, obviously. Yeah, sure, kid, I'll do that later. For now, damn it, soldier. Oh, this guy tells us of that place I just went to before coming here. What's the rain staff? Move out of the way. Move. Go. Get away. God, and he's stepping right in the way so you can't even take care of your shopping. Anyway, the thing I want to get here now is a steel sword, and then later, magic armor. I know it's expensive, and the defense difference is not even apparent, because there is none. Magic armor defends you just as well as steel armor. The 
big reason you want magic armor is because it will heal you, I think, 1 HP every 4 steps. That really helps in this game. And... I could get a Winged Chimera. Probably not a bad idea too, but for now I'm not too worried about it. Let's come around and talk to more of the people. <coughs> Apparently, she doesn't have a... Uh, oh hey, we're back to the castle now. She doesn't have a door to close, so she just gets dressed in the middle of everyone. Damn it, lady. I know I'm invading your home, but Jesus. At least I have a door. Hmm. That's interesting. We'll find out more about that later. Much later. Yeah, the history of Roto or Loto. Pretty cool. Too bad we're not going to be finding out about it for, well, probably months in real, <laughs> real lifetime. No, what? Why would I be embarrassed for wearing a ring? Fine. Fine. Think that much less of me. Or remove the ring. Now what do you say? Fuck you. Hate that guy. Yeah, since the warrior's ring or fighter's ring does nothing, I'll just sell it. It doesn't even sell for much. I think it sells for 15 gold. Well, let's go please do business. Assuming, you know, your customers are strong enough to get here. Oh, well, that's good. To, someone believes me. No, I haven't. Come on to the south. Are you? No. No. I'm not doing that right now, lady. I will die. Let's see what she says if we say yes. No. Sun and rain will join. Hmm. That's important. We already know about the rain staff, but we don't know about anything that would relate to the sun. Or exactly why we would need to have Rain and Sun to join. And... Hmm. You can't get to that house. That building. The side of it's on the other end of the town. Ah! A rainbow bridge. Well, that's interesting. Dude, I ended the Send of Lodo. Or Roto. In North America, they changed it from Erdrick to Loto, and its R and L translations are always iffy. So if I say Loto and it's actually Roto, sorry. You know, I know the game. This version of the game frequently says Roto. Rock and Nana. Hmm. Kind of wish that they might change her name to Roll, but that's just the Mega Man fan in me talking. And so, coming all the way around here, we can actually get to this building. And yeah, we'll search his pots before we uh, bother to talk to the guy behind the counter. Ooh, money and defense seed. Let's go and use the defense seed right away. Vitality by four. Kind of weird that it's vitality, because I'm almost certain that your agility is what your defense is based on. And... You can't sell anything to this guy, but you can just continuously buy keys. And I don't even know exactly how many you need to get through the game, but you may as well buy as many as you can carry. Especially since they don't cost very much. And all the way down here, the very southern end of the town, you'll find Rock. How do you mess that up, dude? She's on the complete opposite side of the town. Oh. Yeah, you can do that. And I'll remember to go back to Cole and search that spot he mentioned. But between now and next time, I'm going to walk in those mountains to the south and grind. I want to get up to... I want to get both the steel sword and magic armor. And that's going to take a long time. In fact, I may even get to about level 13. 13 sounds good. I would like to be a little higher, actually. But that's not exactly a gigantic concern. With the magic armor, I should be just fine at 13. So until then, I will see you guys later.